Hi, my name is Joey. This is Arizona Long Tills. And we're introducing our newest build. The tractor. So, in Yuma, Arizona, there is nothing more iconic than the John Deere tractor. JD, yellow, and green is all over the streets out here. Uh, we're a very agricultural town. With being that, that was the inspiration for this build. The tractor does work. So, I wanted my boat to look like it does work. This is totally a uh, utilitarian type boat. I don't think I'm going to be putting any decks on it, um, anything of that nature. It's going to be sh straight up like get into the nitty gritty duck hunting, uh, getting into the really, really shallow uh, type of boat. This is going to be the one that gets uh, probably the most abuse. So we have the mud skipper. Uh, 16 to 23 horsepower kit with a 16 horsepower uh, mud skipper motor on it with a, a arc dynamics custom handle David out there getting the two better done with a paracord handle just in case you need to tie something up you know clutch lever this guy has the the seven eighth, seven eighths piece welded into one inch tubing so the engine that we ran on this one before in the beginning was the Duramax 7 horsepower and the Duramax 7 horsepower is averaging between like 15 and 17 miles an hour with the 301 I was able to get 19 miles an hour on it and that's an 8 horsepower now I'm putting a 16 horsepower on it so double the power of my last motor so I have no idea how fast this boat is going to go. I'm hoping it's somewhere in between, it's over 20. As long as I can keep up with radio flyer, that's all I give a shit. So, um, we camoed up the boat. Um, for the inside, I used a, or well for the outside, I used a, a green, uh, a drab green base. And then I used natural stenciling. Um, so I used palm, I used chrysote bush. Um, I used other desert shrubs uh, to help uh, camouflage up the boat. And it was just a repeated pattern effect over and over. Uh, it took me days to do it. It was really, really, really fun. I have to say, camoing is really fun. <laughs> I, can't, I can't complain. It's just like, uh, like Bob Ross. It's just like, I want a happy tree here. I want a happy tree here. And you just keep going happy trees all over the, all over the boat. So hopefully, the next time I go out, I get to kill some ducks. But yeah, essentially this is going to be the the dedicated, um, the dedicated abuser. <laughs> I bought this boat for a hundred dollars. I had some holes in it, had to patch them up, and it's been doing work ever since we've had it. So I mean, uh, the only thing that I'm probably going to do is I'll probably put an anchor mount. Put a put an anchor in the boat, um, but otherwise this boat is just going to be the the hauler of gear. We're going to put all the all the gear in it, everything in the front. That's why I have the the bigger engine on it. So if I could take two or three people in here, all the duck hunting gear, river tours, whatever it might be. There's a lot of people out here who haven't even seen the lower river. You know, it'd be cool to take some people out and show them what's actually out here on the on the lower river. And this boat is, is pretty comfortable and pretty spacey. Just overall at 14 feet. Compared to our other builds, we got some 10 footer builds and uh, 12 foot V hull. Uh, there was a little hiccup at the at the John Deere dealership here in town, but I'll eventually, on the sides here, I will be getting um, some sort of John Deere official stickers uh, so that everybody knows that this is the tractor. With that being said, we still got the... We got the push poles, except now that they're, they're camoed. So the push pole is about as long as the boat. Another thing that I was probably interested in is putting some sort of transom bracket off of the side with a hole in the center of it. So that way you can put this in here and it would be a shallow water anchor. And then you'd have your anchor 
all in one and paddle in the boat. And you just anchor up and spot. RDO came in with the with the woods. Sean D. They even gave me a calendar. Inspiration from my my tractor. Test out the mighty tractor. Go and do the longest shaft in all of Yuma. Man, it looks like somebody's already here. Fish dogs out here somewhere. Maybe I can catch them on the water. But we'll see how it goes. It's the biggest motor I've had on this boat. That's for sure. Mud skipper 16 horsepower. So it looks like it floats just fine in the water. No, she's here. Coming to find you, sucker. Let's go find fish dog out here. He's out here somewhere. Looking for that Punisher boat. So it's not too bad today. It's about 90 degrees in January near Arizona. I'm in uh, flip flops, some ugly ass toes. Um, so gonna go test this guy out. See what 16 horsepower on this is made out of. So. General float test right now, we're looking pretty good. Super stable. Not too bad. Not too much weight on the transom. Alright. We are off to the races. A little bit higher than normal on the river, but nonetheless, pretty good. Built good. 20 miles an hour, super speed. Montel Island. It's looking like it needs a little bit of repair. That's a lot, not a lot of wind lately. The water's been up pretty high. Looks like about most of Longtail Island got washed away. Come 
back out here and fix this bad boy.
dog in the wild. So long tail islands pretty much washed away. So me and fish dog created a, a new long tail island here. Yep. Let's go pick up some more. Didn't get skunked today. Let's see you later, buddy. Let's see, how long are you? You're as long. Yeah, you're as long as my leg. See you guys later.